that amount should do. We'll go ahead and cut that. That's about a foot and a half of line. About a foot and a half of fishing line. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take two of my screwdrivers, take the bits out for right now. I'm gonna tie this onto here. These are now solidly tied on here, and now it's time to go for the foam. So what I need to do is fold an angle of this, correct? Yeah. Should I start nearest the screwdriver? Yeah, you might want to do that. Around right, right here. It doesn't really matter as long as you get it in the battery, then you can adjust it however you want. So I'm going to fold a little corner into it right here. That should make it easier to slip under the corner of the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and slip this fold, see how it's now kinked. It's under there now. So now what I need to do is work the line around the frame of the foam. I folded it again. To help it go around the corner, you can use this flathead screwdriver to kind of guide the line under there. So now, as you can see, the line has encircled the foam. You zoom in a little closer just to show it. So I have it here and here. Now once the line has encircled the phone, I gotta make sure that this wire is not under there. And now, it's time for the sawing motion. Zoom it out, yeah. So I have the two screwdrivers and what I gotta do is kinda pull them back and forth. Hold the phone now. Okay, now that it's slipped in, I have an assistant here, or he's actually the one showing me how to do it. Um, holding the battery down. Now these two have to be held as low to the phone as possible, not out at an angle like this. Yeah, otherwise you'll so what I'm going to do pulling up the battery. is just pull on one of them while allowing the other one to get slack. And the glue is going to start going off onto the fishing line. And sometimes the fishing line may begin, begin to get caught under the glue. That's fine. If the line breaks, you simply go for it again. We can show the glue all over the line towards the end. Yeah. 
that noise is just the line passing through the gloom. Let me try to get a lower angle. Line came separate on here. So I'm just going to pull it through and retie it. So the line became separated from that screwdriver. I'm just going to pull the line through and just retie it. Now it's very stuck. You can pull it the other way too. It's okay to pull it hard. I'm, pulling, I'm giving it a good amount of force. The line is now, if I feel it, it's got glue on it. So I'm going to go for tying it on again. So I'm going to go for it again. I'm folding the fishing line at an angle. I'm going to loop it under the corner of the battery. Now I'm under the battery again. So this time, I'm gonna leave one slack and I'll pull the other one through. Remember not to pull it too far either because of that cable. If it starts resisting too much, you can take the opposite end and just straighten it out. It's very stiff right now. There's a lot of tension on the right hand side, which is the, sorry for yelling, but it's got to get in there over the piano. It's a lot of tension on the right hand side on the orange one, but it's working. I think I want to risk running over the cables again because I have more and so this thing is way slack see that now I'm gonna go back to the green one the green one pull it more to the side yeah actually you see the glue chunks coming off yeah we'll show a close-up of the glue shortly hey it looks like it's working really well so now I'm just alternating. As you guys can see, the orange one is going in, the green one is going in. And the battery is starting to come up. Now I'm just going back and forth. As you can see here. We've nearly reached the tip of the battery, and now we're approaching the last corner. I'm gonna go very slowly because there are a lot of small cables there. I hope they didn't pull that cable. Fishing line's kind of caught under there. It's probably caught in that cable. Yeah, it looks like it's all right. There it is. The battery is up. And it's fairly undamaged, as opposed to having to stick something in there. As you can see, both glue strips were intact. You managed to run through both of them with the fishing line. At the upper end, this cable was a little bit hit by the uh, fishing line, but it should be fine. In the future, we're not going to run the cable so far up near the line. We will probably stop about here and then put a card in.